Hey guys, welcome back to another awesome video and today I'm going to be doing a review on the M2 Minifig Cat Mortar. So this is a uh, review that you guys have been asking me to do for quite some time so I am going to go ahead and do that for you. So this is what we will be reviewing today. So um, I guess we'll go ahead and just start off with the packaging. So by um, Set On uh, Toys. And then we got, uh, let's get a close-up on a couple of these things right here. So starting off, we have like, uh, it says, let me get my pointer. So it says, weapons, armor, body, or body wear, special parts, and base plate. So basically it has all these things, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's just, uh, it's 11 pieces, like it says right there. M2 mortar, 60 millimeter. And it come, tells you all the different shells it comes with. We got, um, like, I guess this indicates, like, uh, something that explodes. So, um, there's that. We got the actual mortar right here. And just your choking hazard and, you know, pretty much all that stuff. There's, um, just a little thing you guys could take a look at. So that's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this up and we will go ahead and do a review on it. All right, to start off, you got these two little pull tabs right here up in the corner. You could just, um, you know, pull, um, pull it open with. And pull that out. Put that off to the side. So there is the actual mortar piece, which is really nice. And onto the little card. And I'm pretty sure, oh yeah, here's the instructions. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, assemble that, but I'll give you guys another look at it on the sprue. So that's basically how it looks. So I have a feeling this is going to have like, you know, those Lego uh, flick fire missile type of deal. I think that's what this is going to be, um, probably. So, um, let's go ahead and put it together to see how it looks all uh, assembled. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by showing you guys the shells and then we'll jump into the mortar. So, to start off, um, we got this one right here, which this one is the uh, M50 shell. So then our next one is the M83, and then this one is the uh, M69, and we got this one, which is our M32 shell, and then I'm pretty sure this is the most common one that I've actually seen, which is the M, uh, M49, which is looks like your standard shell that I've seen on like real ones. So uh, that's pretty much what's going to cover up the... Uh, the shells. It comes with um, all five of those. Yep, all five. Just uh, double checking. So um, it comes with all those. You guys get um, some different like selection, I guess. So let's go ahead and jump into the mortar. So onto the mortar. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a few things. So this is dual uh, sided. So you, you could. This would be good for some, I guess, any builders. So it, it could stick a base plate on this side and on this side. So I got one little base plate right here I could show you. So it sticks onto your base plates um, just like that. Well, I guess if you guys, you guys could probably put it better. But uh, you could do it on this side and this side. But it comes with this little um, thing that makes the uh, mortar be able to swivel. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off. So it comes with that and as the uh, the bipod which does come off and th this is a two barrel, two like, I mean two piece. So if you look in there, there's your spring and what do you guys know, I was right, it's like a flick fire type of deal. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this one so you guys can kind of get yourself an idea. So you just put it in there and you push it down and let it go. So it just shoots off like that. So. Overall, this is by far, I have to say, way nicer than any of the ones I've seen, like the brick-built ones uh, combined. So, 
This is really cool. I guess I could show you guys a minifigure comparison. I don't really have one near me besides my my customs. So I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys how it looks on a custom minifigure. I guess like the scale size. So it's kind of big, but I guess it'll work. So that is that. And um, so this would work out for really good for World War II. And these come in all types of different colors. I picked mine up in black, but they come in tan, green, gunmetal, you know, all, you name it, a bunch of colors. So you guys can go check that out. I will have a link in the description where you guys can pick this up off Minificat or Modern Brick Warfare. I'm pretty sure they sell it there. But uh, that's pretty much this um, uh, review, what's going to wrap it up. So let's go ahead and um, I guess we could shoot up one more of these little rockets. So they're actually pretty nice. Let me see what that other one went. Right, here it is. So these are pretty cool. We'll go and shoot one more before we end it. You, you guys could get another look at it. So you just push and then you get your finger out of the way. And it just shoots off like that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the videos, make sure to hit that thumbs up button or subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.